Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll learn how to use MySQL Workbench. Now MySQL Workbench is a GUI software or GUI version of MySQL console. So to, in order to use Workbench, what we need is first we need a MySQL setup in your machine. So you can just verify if you have MySQL. So just search for MySQL command line client. So if you don't have this software, just go to Google and search for MySQL download. So if you type MySQL download, it will navigate to the website where you can download this setup. So first you have to install this MySQL command line. So when you open this MySQL command line, it will ask you for a password. Now you can set this password while installation. You know, when you install this MySQL software, it will go into two steps. The step one will be uh, the setup. The second step will be the configuration. So once you go for the configuration, it will ask you for a password. So while configuring your MySQL for the first time, you have to set a password which you can remember and which is difficult to crack. Since uh, the, I'm using this machine only for, I'm using this MySQL only for the testing purpose, the, the password I'm using here is zero. So if I just enter zero and okay, so that's how, uh, that's how your MySQL console looks like. Now in this MySQL console, we can create database, we can create tables, we can insert values, we can fire lots of queries. But the problem is everything you fire here will be console based. Let me give an example. So let's say if I want to create a database, so we'll say create database, uh, maybe ABC. So I have this database, which is ABC. You have to give a semicolon at that on the line. And when you say enter, so it says uh, query, okay, one row affected. But everything you do here is console, is console based, right? You cannot uh, edit once you have done with the typing. So there are lots of problems here. You when you, when you work on console. Sometimes we need lots of features. We need logging, we need uh, utilities, we need libraries. So for that, this is not enough, right? So this console level application is not enough. So what we need for that is a GUI software or something, a, very, it, a, a type of IDE maybe, where you can you will get all the features. So like we have uh, doc here, utilities, we have bug reporter. So we have lots of things available here. So in order to use Workbench, you can just go to Google and search for MySQL Workbench, download the software and you can, it will be easy to go. Now maybe in future I'll be making how to, I will be making a video on how to install MySQL, configuring MySQL and how to install Workbench, but I'm assuming that these are very simple steps you can follow. So just go to Google and you can just download as next, 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 and when you install a software, what you do, you accept, you accept the agreement with, if you, uh, without any choice, and then you install the software, right? In the same way, you have to install MySQL, you have to configure MySQL, and then you have to install Workbench. Now, once you have done with the install, installation of Workbench, and when you open the software, it will look something in this way. Maybe this thing will not be there, but everything will be there in the same, same way. The first thing we have to do is, we have to connect your MySQL Workbench with a database. And maybe you, in your system, you will not be having any database, but by default, when you install a MySQL, it will create three database for you. One will be test, second will be information schema, and third will be for MySQL. So what we'll do is, we'll click on this uh, database here and say connect to database. Now when you say connect to database, uh, I'm getting an option of local instance MySQL. So I will click here. Okay, and then it will ask you for the host name. So if I say host name, so I, I have to give the machine address here in which I have my uh, MySQL setup done. Since I'm using the same machine for the setup, you know what you can do? You can install a MySQL system in another machine and you can install a workbench in another machine, provided they are, belong to the same network. So you have to provide a local host address here because you are, are working with the same machine. Or you can also give the loopback address, which is 127.0.0.1. And then you have to specify the port number. So the default port number for MySQL is 3306. Uh, you can also specify it as 7 if your database configuration is done with 7. But since I'm using with the default port number, I'll be going for 3306. Uh, this option will be there when you configure your MySQL. Then you have to specify the username. So by default, when you install MySQL, the username will be root. And it will ask you password later. And that's it. So once you type all this data, which is already there, you can click on OK. Now, once you click on OK, it will ask you for a password. Now, this password is same as you have in MySQL uh, console. So the 
the password I'm using here is zero. And if I click on OK, that's how my MySQL front looked like. Simple, right? So this is your MySQL front. I'm oh, sorry, not MySQL front. This is MySQL front like uh, Workbench. So this is uh, this is how you have to use Workbench. So you can see uh, the, this is the list of databases you have in your system. You know, all your databases are available here. Then we have option of instance startup and shutdown. And this is the output window. You'll be getting the output. So what we'll do is, first we'll create a database. So you can have a, you can have a number of, uh, yeah, so you can create any database here. Since we already have created a database here, uh, which is ABC, what we can simply do is, we'll say use uh, ABC. So this is the available database I'm having in my system. And to execute this query, you know, uh, in uh, MySQL, everything becomes a query, right? So if you want to execute this query, we can simply say control, in, control enter. So as soon as you say control enter, it will use that database. Okay, it will, it will execute that query. The second step we have to follow here is where we have, uh, we have to create a table, okay? But how to create a table, how to insert those values, that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial. So I hope you are uh, you got some idea about MySQL, MySQL Bench, and how to connect your MySQL Workbench with the MySQL database or MySQL uh, server. So that's from this video. So thanks for watching, and do subscribe and give thumbs up. That matters. So thank you.